This is the guest house rental rates on page 442 in the book. I'm going through this with you. Uh, first thing it says to open and then save it. And what you want to put your name there. You all know how to do that. File, save as. And then I would just type my student name. Last. First. Saved. I'm going to go through the things here. A lot of formatting here. Some formulas, okay? And it wants you to um, merge and center. You click in here. I'm on the Home tab. Merge and center. That is step B. And then you want to apply different colors here. I want to put a dark red fill color. I click on the drop-down bucket. Drop-down arrow. I click on the dark red there. And then they want the white. I click right there. I highlight these two cells here e4 through g4 merge and center do that again and then i'm going to apply a blue fill color paint bucket blue and again it says white background one it remembers the color so i just click right on it i don't have to go into it a third time i'm in step d here <laughs> <clears throat> it says center and wrap the text in row 5 here. I click on the 5 there. I click on center, wrap text. And it says to make them a little wider because it looks a little funky. You don't want where it's split, if you know what I'm saying. If you want to get it to fit, you double click on that horizontal line between the 5 and the 6. We've done that. Now we have to do some formulas, okay? These are pretty easy. And we want to know how much revenue. We have a few places here. We only have 12 units here. We have a guest house here. And we want to figure out the maximum revenue. Equal this times this. We'll do formatting later. Maximum revenue equal we're multiplying I did this wrong here. Per day, it should be six units. Now we want to know the discount rate, okay? I want you to copy these down here. I'm just doing this a little bit quickly so it, it doesn't become a long tape. Uh, discount rate here. We want to know what the discount is that they're getting off of this. And this does require a little bit of thinking on your part. And what it is, it's a difference between the max and the minimum revenue, okay? Off peak versus peak, I should say. And then you take that difference and then you divide it by the maximum revenue. To do this, you need parentheses. So it's this C6 minus this. Close the parentheses. Divide it by the peak rate. So you've got that in there. And if I want to drag these down, I can just click here, double click, highlight that, double click. Okay. We're going to format an accounting. Anything with currency here, we just click on here. Oops. Current uh, accounting, it says. And then we make this percent with one decimal point. So we've done that. Now they want you to do some fancy coloring in here. Now they're saying E5 through G8. This is step G. Blue accent one lighter 30%. Uh, for the fill here, I click inside here. And then if I go over here, shows it there. And then what I accidentally did, I did this to the text. You can't even see it. Undo. Pay attention. I go over here. Now you can see it. You don't want to have things funky here. Now C5 through D8. We're just going to highlight these. And they talk about custom colors here, okay, for the background here.
click on the drop down arrow here I'm going to say more colors I'm going to go to custom you could type the numbers in here you could highlight the first one and then it just says red 242 I hit the tab 220 hit the tab 219 so you've got a nice light tint in there there are four questions that are in here you should be able to figure these out on your own um, the difference you'll have to think for the two-bedroom suite you're gonna have to apply the discount on the other one to figure out if you want to change the price on it going back into this thing here it's talking about margins here I'm on letter J here you go on page layout if I go to margins it I would go to custom margins and it wants one all the way around you could use these spinners and then it wants one here I could just type in a one also much easier to type it in really one one inch you want it centered horizontally and vertically on the page you want a footer too that is step K I go on to the tab for header footer custom footer if it says to put your name you put your first and your last name first last name in the center section it wants to put in the sheet name code you just don't type in rental rates you click on the tab here insert sheet name and then you want just the file name you click on that green X you get a little tool tip when you're doing this so we say okay now we want to copy this sheet okay I do I say okay again I put my mouse inside the tab here this is the easy way you get used to it control left click drag to the right I want to call this formulas so we've done that now what we want to do here we're going to make this landscape print grid lines so I go to orientation landscape I clicked on print titles or I could have just clicked on that little thing right here and expanded the group uh, and so it says grid lines row and column headings I say okay I could also print preview it it's going off the page I could say shrink to fit here and I want to show you this not in the assignment this is good to know though I could click on page setup and then I could just say fit the page I say okay and I'm going to close out of this click on the home tab and then it said to delete this questions and answers here right click delete and then if I go into the print preview looks a little bit nicer it's a little bit bigger and for some reason I was on the wrong sheet when I did that you got to read careful no I'll bear with me a second here okay I was on I just delete them here pay attention on intentional mistake on your instructor and then if I preview this it's much bigger because there's no text at the bottom next thing it talks about here it talks about opening up forms this is step M personally I would never do this um, you want to see the results but you might want to see the formulas one way of looking at the formulas is to hold down the control and the tilde key which is to the left of the one it displays them okay but what they do here you click on file you click on options you click on advanced and then if you want this to open it up with the formula view there I'm scrolling down I'm scrolling down show formulas in cells instead of their calculated results if you ever need to do that fine in my years of working with Excel I have never done this however if you want to s diagnose or just have an analysis of what you've done it shows the formulas